Today I'm going to walk you through my Midori Traveler's Notebook that I'm using as an art journal. First, these are the materials that I have um, and carry with me. Um, some pens, scissors, a small watercolor set, and some double-sided tape. And I just cut the box down as I'm using up the tape. That's really all I take. Um, and then everything else fits inside the notebook itself. And the first thing I made was the tag. I just made it out of some heavy cardstock that looked like leather and um, punched holes in it, painted it, and then attached it to the string that comes with the notebook. Um, you can see here in the front I've made some inserts that hold um, just some little pieces of collage um, and other little bits that I'm going to want to include. Um, washi tape, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a minute, and then um, a craft folder that I used um, to hold larger collage elements. And all I did was took a manila folder that's craft paper colored. Um, I measured it to match the inside dimensions of the notebook and um, used the paper trimmer, folded it over. Works great. Um, I also made inserts and I did that by taking the paper dimensions that come with the notebook. Um, I measured about eight and a quarter um, uh, lengthwise and eight and a half width and I just used the paper trimmer and, and trimmed it. And then I also, the book isn't rounded, but I like rounded corners, so I also rounded the corners. Um, and then this is, um, you know, I use things like uh, cardstock and jelly art gel printed plate jelly prints, um, uh, found papers. I go to the scrap warehouse in San Francisco several times a year and pick up cool papers and um, some that you'll see in here are from a, a Nikki McClure uh, calendar from I want to say 2007. I just really like the images so I cut the calendar apart and shoved those in there. Um, but again I, I just you know double checked and made sure that my dimensions worked with the book and cut it up and there she goes. Um, I then kind of uh, connected it with a piece of yarn. I just tied it down the middle really simply. Um, it's actually being held in the book by a piece of elastic, which you'll see here in a minute. Um, and then I also included um, a more substantial bookmark. You can see the one um, that's in there is not very substantial. Here's just a couple quick examples of some of the art journaling that I've already done. And uh, you can see some of the collage and things. I tend to actually work ahead of my journaling. So I'm, I'm always arting several pages ahead and then I journal um, on top of whatever I've created. So um, you can see that, uh, that I've got enough for probably uh, a month's worth just in front of me there. Um, half in the book and then I'll pull that out and put the other half in. So here I am pulling out the um, materials out of the book so you can kind of see how that looks. There's two pieces of elastic in the journal. Um, the first thing that I'm showing you is the little plastic. Um, I just took a piece of plastic, folded it in half, um, cut uh, about a half inch off in the front half, and then taped it together on both ends with the uh, washi tape, and um, used that for the little bits that would get hidden probably in this, doc in this uh, document holder. This is a craft folder, again, um, same dimensions as the um, wash, uh, same dimensions as the uh, notebook um, that came with the note that came with the notebook. And I just used washi tape around the edges. And you can see that I've it holds quite a bit of stuff, both rub-ons and found papers and scrapbook bits and all kinds of things. Um, and so I've, I can shove quite a bit in there. I also have several faces. Um, that are in different directions that I use as kind of references as I'm drawing out uh, faces in my journal straight on and then looking to the left and looking to the right. But yeah, as you can see, as long as you keep the the um, the pieces, you know, about four inches um, across by about eight inches, eight and a quarter inches, they fit in there just great. And so um, the uh, small plastic piece, I put it on the outside. Um, I thought that it did a better job um, in terms of, of how it worked. I did try it on the inside, but I found that it was just getting in my way. And in terms of the outside, I used a um, piece of photo paper, so it was kind of shiny and not too sticky, and I laid numerous layers of washi tape over it so I could take it with me. That's worked really well. The only thing I would do differently is probably stagger um, 
each end by about a half inch so so that they're not perfectly lined up. I was a little too perfect with it and I have found that it's been difficult to pull some of the washi tape off because they're it's collecting together. Um, I also made a um, pen holder which I use just with um, some cardstock type uh, paper tape and taped it to itself. Um, it's a little big for this pen and a little too small for some of my favorite Uniposca pens, um, but for now it's fine. I might redo it and, and make it smaller. I also thought about making a, another one so that I, on the other side of the um, the collage holder, so that I could actually lock those um, that closed using the pen as kind of the closure. Um, but I'll see. For now, I'm, I'm pretty darn happy with the way it's working now, so, so we'll see. And then, um, as you can see, it just slips underneath the elastic, and that's how it's held in place. <clears throat> and I'm just lining everything up and making sure that it's, it's working correctly. Um, I'm adding the bookmark to the next spot that I want to journal in. And then I'm taking the cover um, band and just pulling it back around and you can see that it doesn't go anywhere it's it's really um it's 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 held really well together it's made really well I'm really happy with it overall and I'm loving the portability of it thank you so much for